I love them. They're so beautiful. I love them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naka, and in today's video we're going to be reviewing all of the Fenty Beauty Snapshot palettes, so I'm super excited about that. And then we're also going to be doing a makeup look with the Snap Shadow palettes. So if you are interested, thinking about buying some palettes, stay tuned for some swatches and a makeup look. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click that button below and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, so let's just hop right into it. So the first palette we have here is True Neutrals, right? Yes, True Neutrals. That is my cat. We're going to go ahead and swatch them here. So this is this one and this one. Pretty decent. We're going to get better swatches and the color pigments really there like especially for this one I really like that this one I wish was a little bit more pigmented so these are the shades nookie rookie and simmer down so let's try this one cuffs valet oh that is a pretty color Ooh, this is a really nice copper color. I can definitely see myself using it in a bunch of looks. So it's really cool. I think we're just going to do three at a time. I feel like that's easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch the next three. Ooh, yeah, I really like that. Can you see? So this shade is Ballet Cuffs. Then we have Come and Get It, and then we have Affogato. So this is the entire first palette, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think these two would be really great like transition colors. These are really great shimmer colors, and I love that this palette comes with transition colors and shimmer colors. It's like you can definitely just use this palette on its own. So now in the second palette, we have Cool Neutrals. So Cool Neutrals is, uh, I love this, I love this purple color, but I think they're very adequately uh, described. So essentially you just have some grayish, taupe-ish taupe huh? colors here. You get four shimmer shadows and then two matte shadows, which I think are going to be very beneficial and versatile for any look like I definitely think you can do entire looks with just one palette alone but I definitely think they're like complementary palettes and good to use together which I think is the whole reason why they snap uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches on these So now you have the Warm Neutrals by the Cool Neutrals, and you can really see the difference in color. I definitely think on dark skin tones, the Cool Neutrals uh, show up better, at least in terms of the shimmer shadows. Uh, I definitely think there are some highlights, like we have a really great winner here in that first palette. But if you're a darker skin girl and you're looking to get just one with really great shimmers in it, I would definitely pick the Cool Neutrals palette. But, there's more. So we also have number three, which I think might be one of my favorites. Hold on. Ugh. Had to unsnap them. So three is deep neutrals. And I think this is really your neutrals for your brown skin girls. I think Rihanna had us in mind when she was making these. So I would eh, just going to open this up really fast. Ugh. Okay. And so these are like the perfect, perfect neutrals if you have deep, dark skin. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you now. Just going to undo this. So we have... So ignore my bracelet, but these are going to be the swatches for the deep neutrals palette. So as you can see... Watch. Starting from left to right, we have Nudie Booty, Heaven Sent, Smash or Pass, Fire Freak, Shots Fire, 
no fudge given. And I think these are all like really perfect uh, companion palettes. I'm not sure if I would actually use this alone. I just, for my eyeshadow looks personally, I like to have a light, a really light color. I think this could do it suffice, but I like mine to be a little wider base, kind of like this color, but you know whatever but this is a really pretty palette on the go and I think I definitely would use this I love this color right here the shots fired oh my gosh it's so cute but let's move on this is another one of my favorites number four so this is the rose palette and it is just so beautiful like look at all these pinks it's like just a great mauve pink palette and I think this is honestly kind of my iconic go to shades when I'm doing any eye look at all. Uh, this reminds me of the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This also kind of reminds me of the Deep Nude palette by Huda Beauty. And so this is just one of my favorites. Let's swatch. <laughs> oh yes, I love this. And the pigment on these colors, like Sometimes when it comes to these lighter colors, I'm like, oh my god, they're never going to show up on my skin. But these are like, you can see. You can see it. Here. Oh, look at that. So much color. Wow, guys, the way that one just glided on, oh my gosh, that one is called Stunt Queen, and truly she is living up to her name, like, this is a beautiful color, and it's like a nice, like, there's hints of, like, glitter in it, definitely kind of in the same category as the rest of the Shimmer Shadows, but I think this color I don't know, I think maybe it's just something about the brown skin. It just really, really reflects off of it really nicely. Oh, yeah. Same with this one. Oh! Oh, my gosh. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? And I like that this one's a little more orange base. I feel like especially for people with warmer skin tones, it's really good to have, like, uh, orange under base to your eyeshadows just because it helps keep that warmth I find where I, I use too many like cool shadows I start looking like I have a black eye so I definitely look for shadows that have a little bit more warmth to them just based on my skin tone and complexion alone this one oh, I feel like this is gonna be the perfect transition color the perfect color to just like warm up your crease and the pigment on these shadows, guys. Unmatched. So, so, so good. And I'm so excited for this color. Okay, this one is called Diva Fiva. Diva Fiva. And you can just see, even in the pan, that it just has more kind of glitter particles than the rest of them. So this is what truly reminds me of like the Huda beauty palettes because you know she uses like those huge chunks of glitter in her palettes and it's so cute and I feel like this is definitely kind of in that same family so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that now yes and I can feel it oh my gosh I hope this camera does it justice yeah but this color is so beautiful and in the sun you can see it kind of has like silver pieces in it as well so it's super reflective it's like a two-tone chrome glitter almost so it's like silver and a pink it's so beautiful number four all right Okay. Five hours later. Okay. Took a ridiculously long break, but I am back now and we're going to get through the rest of these shadows. They're 
is so many of them. So five is peach. <laughs> uh, I really like this palette as well. This is something that would definitely be like outside of my comfort zone but I think this is a really nice really neutral palette and it's also like kind of on trend like Forbes Rose this is peach I feel like peach had a really big season with Too Faced so I definitely think this is a good palette to have um let's go ahead and jump into some of these swatches so here we have this is Bellini Baby, Chiro, and Hi Pumpkin. <laughs> Bye Pumpkin. Bye Pumpkin. New York and <laughs> Hi Pumpkin. Yo, Rihanna is a fucking fool. <laughs> so honestly, for the name alone, Hi Pumpkin is officially now my favorite. Now for the next three. I would say this color isn't as pigmented as I would like. I had to swipe it a few times on. Okay, so the first three colors were shimmer, and then the last three colors are matte. So the bottom colors are Peach Me, Butter Rum, and Shoot Your Shot. I would say Peach Me, it was really hard to get a really nice swatch of it. Uh, not the best on deep skin. I mean, I would use it, but not my favorite. Wouldn't be my go-to. I feel like... The shimmer shadows in this palette, though, are really nice, so you gotta pick and choose your battles. But that's number five. Now number six, we have Smoky, so it's just gonna be some, your standard Smoky palette. So you just have a nice range here, basically to make the perfect, like, Smoky eye look. I really like this purple in this palette as well. I think it's a nice pop of color, but let's go ahead and swatch them. Oh, this is like a nice black. This is black black. <laughs> it's called That Deep. So the first three colors we have are That Deep, Chestnuts, and You Up. I really enjoy kind of the payoff like the color payoff of these shadows are really nice so if you're into it if you like it i love it this color is called second date and i can already tell it's going to be like uh one of those like kind of like how that one color was in the four like i think it's gonna have a lot of glitter in it i can already tell it does yeah so this one has a really cool dual chrome glitter it's like green and blue and like the shadow has like kind of a purpley base so that's really cool then we have this purple color Ooh, this is really nice too actually and then the colors in this palette are second date which is a really beautiful dual chrome color so you have like green sparkles that kind of turn silver in here and the shadow is like a deep purple color it looks really pretty in person i would highly recommend that then the purple shimmer color you have is called patty cakes i really like this as well it had a really nice color payoff it glided on super easily and then the deeper taupe grayish color here is going to be tan lines i thought this color came off kind of chalky on my skin i wouldn't I wouldn't personally use these colors if I was going to buy this palette, or I mean I guess I have this palette, I would kind of stay in these colors. I think they had the best color payoff, especially for my skin tone. Great, we are almost done. So seven, this is a really cool color story. So this is called Cadet, and it really is like all these really cool army colors. So you have like a yellow, a deep green. This really beautiful, oh my god, look at this color. Wow, so this is like kind of like a off-white, like hints of green, like really pretty, like shimmer, glitter color. It looks, guys, it looks so good. And then yeah, so this is just a really interesting color story. I would say this is a pretty unique to this palette. I don't think I've ever seen any other eyeshadow palettes that had a color story like this. So let's jump right into the swatches on my clean arm. 
So I really love the shimmer colors in this palette. I think what's really hard to do is to get a lot of color payoff with like matte palettes, but I think we really get that here and this color and this color. So in the She Salute and the Glamo Camo, we really get a strong color payoff with matte shadows, which I feel like is so hard to do. So big ups to Rihanna. I am loving this. And then last but certainly not least, I would say this is probably my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite palette in the collection. So this is number eight, and this is essentially pastel frost. So all these colors, it's the only one in the collection that is completely shimmer. So if you're getting this one, you're definitely gonna have to use it with another palette, either the deep neutrals or just another palette that you have. But this is so pretty, like, oh my gosh. And I'm actually wearing the purple color underneath my eyes right now. It's just, <sighs> let's dive right into these swatches. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is Mother's Boy. Muva, Muva. So you can see here, it's not as pigmented as I would like, but it's a nice, it's called pastel frost for a reason. So it's a nice pastel color. Then we have this green color coming up. Ooh, and I like this one a lot better. This is called Mu La La, because we're all about the money. Ooh, and this one builds up really, really, really nicely. So this is a great color to have get some focus here please camera yeah so this one builds up really nicely I don't know if my camera's doing it justice right now but that's the shit and then we have this yellow color <laughs> called laid up and this is a really pretty golden color the pink, one of my favorites. Ooh, and it's a nice, like, bubble gummy pink. Ooh. And all these colors build up pretty nicely, I would say, except for the blue one. I have trouble getting that to, like, really build up. Um, but, you know, like, like I said earlier, it's really hard to work with these shimmers. So I think, honestly, for what we're getting, I think that's a pretty good job. And the last color is going to be this teal color. It's called Dirty Denim. So here are the swatches of palette number eight. I think my favorite colors so far are the green, the pink, and the teal. I think the gold is something, you know, it's nice to have. I definitely think it was a must include for the palette, but overall I feel like it's really easy to find a nice gold for deeper complexions. But like these colors, like this teal, I think it's really unique and completely justifies getting this palette. Uh, the pink is okay, but this green, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I can see myself just creating so many looks and just having it be like, let me zoom out a little bit. And just having it be like the accent color. So, back at it again. With clean arms. <laughs> Alright guys, so my final thoughts on the Fenty Snapshadows palette, I would definitely go with number one, this True Neutrals. I really like the colors in this. I think it's perfect for just an everyday look, and I definitely think you get a lot of use for out of this packet, and I think, I keep calling eyeshadow palettes packets, and I don't know why. I, I don't know why I do that. Um, but I definitely think you get the most use out of this palette. It's really great for like everyday use and so I think this will be like one of the biggest bangs for your bucks. I did like the Deep Neutrals palette which is going to be number three here. I think this is also a really great neutral if you have a deeper skin tone and this chrome color in the middle heaven scent is to die for. But in terms of my skin color and my skin tone, I'm a 390, so I'm not exactly in that 400 range yet, but if you are in that 400 range, I think this would be the uh, best neutral palette for you. Uh, so 
just you know take it with a grain of salt I definitely think a neutral palette is something that every woman needs uh, the cool neutrals it's it's a no for me I have warm skin I like warm colors I like wearing a lot of colors and cool neutrals just don't align with that vision but if you're more of an icy girl then maybe that's for you but I definitely would recommend getting one of the neutral palettes I think if you're a brown skin girl like me number one true neutrals will be perfect for you in terms of the colors I think honestly seven this is a pass this is a pass for me I really like the idea of it and I love this color of money mission the first one it's just so pretty on and it's such a unique color but the rest of the colors the navy blue and the yellow were kind of chalky to apply and there's just no duochrome here so I don't think it's really worth it uh if you're thinking about it maybe try it out but honestly this is some a palette where I would skip and save my money another palette I really wanted to recommend was that smoky palette so almost dropped the palette <laughs> don't want to do that <laughs> so I definitely would recommend this one number six smoky and the reason why I want to recommend this is because it has that duo chrome color and it's so beautiful so this the duo chrome in this palette is called second date and it has like just these beautiful hints of like blue and green and purple and it's just a really pretty pretty eyeshadow color it swatches really nice and it just has all these like reflective dual chrome uh sparkles in it so i definitely think the dual chrome colors make the palettes worth it so for that reason i recommend six smoky and then i also recommend number four so that rose palette so this one also has a duo chrome color it's right here and this one is called diva fleva so this one uh the duo chrome in this has like hints of gold and silver i think it's really pretty on and i definitely think it's uh it's it's gonna make this palette worth it for 25 dollars or is that how much they are i think that's how much they are sorry there's a car bye go away Oh, it's FedEx. Maybe they're delivering something for me. I'll wait. Okay. What was I saying? Yeah, so these dual chrome colors, I think, really make it worth it at the price point. So right now at Sephora, they're one for $25 or two for $45. So I think for $25, you definitely want to make sure you're getting one of the palettes with a dual chrome and that's going to be number four or number six so check it out uh i did like number five the peach it was really unique and i used it in my eyeshadow video but overall it doesn't have the dual chrome so i feel like pass i want dual chrome for my money uh and then last but not least i definitely 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 love all the shimmers in this palette but this is definitely number eight uh frost pastel this is definitely or pastel frost rather this is definitely a companion palette if you're looking for an everyday eyeshadow palette i would highly recommend either the smoky or the true neutrals but this is definitely going to add to any palette that you have so i personally love playing with a lot of colors and my makeup looks so i think this is really just going to help take my game up the next level i think this teal color is really unique i love the purple the pink i already wear a lot of pink eyeshadows uh like the rose palette so i definitely think that's going to help elevate some of my looks and i'm excited to experiment with the other colors such as the green uh, the yellow and the blue so I definitely would recommend getting this one just because it is very unique to find so many beautiful colors in one palette it's rare that you have these kind of colors in any eyeshadow palette so I think this is just like the perfect perfect companion palette for any of them so what I would even do is I would take one and eight snap them together and I think this would be my everyday go to so when i'm traveling i would probably just bring this and then the shadows with me at night so then you know i could have a really nice fun neutral like work eyeshadow look 
during the day and then I can just you know add some color underneath my eye and then transition out to night so I think that would be really cool I do like that they're so compact and they snap together I think it makes it perfect for travel so I definitely think in that regard it's like super innovative and I hope I see other brands do more things like this as well uh, but overall I really really like the palettes really like the executions uh, if you're being cost conscious I definitely would recommend four and six the ones that have the duochrome colors and kind of skipping over the the eyeshadow palettes that don't have that but definitely picking up a neutral uh yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe uh comment down below what your favorite color out of all the eyeshadows were and i will see you guys next week with a new video bye so i got my hair done <laughs> And some of the braids were too tight, so I literally, guys, don't judge me, I took some of them out, and now I just have, like, these short little braids at the sides. <laughs> so I need to figure out how I'm going to make my hair cute for my trip, but I still have some hair left over, which is nice. Maybe I'll find a friend that can braid them for me, or maybe I will just do it myself. What am I going to do with my teeny tiny braids? Please help. Maybe I'll start a trend. It'll be like the short braids in the front trend. Like, like I'm just jogging and look, I have my little, my trend, my trend braids, guys. What am I going to do with myself? I don't know. I'm crazy, but I guess I'll figure it out. I figure out all things. All things are possible with Jesus. Hi guys, so I am editing this video right now and I am so tired and the video is already so long so I'm just going to end it here. I will definitely post the makeup portion, the makeup look uh, sometime next week. I have recorded it so I just need to edit that so stay tuned for that my loves. Also, I wanted to show you guys. I did end up braiding the braid myself look at it oh my god oh god it's taking forever okay so it's really long uh but yeah i braided it myself so no more short braid twin trend 2020 it's just i braided it myself so i feel talented let me know if you need your micro son i'm your girl <laughs> all right bye guys <laughs>